How to Distinguish Business Scams from a Genuine Opportunity Home business itself is not bad, but there are some unscrupulous elements here as in every other place that are giving it a bad name. However, if you know certain things that you must look out for, you're going to find that this is not that bad after all. Here are some tips that are going to help you select a genuine business opportunity. Beware of pyramid schemes. The main reason why the fair name of home business got sullied was because of the pyramid schemes to begin with. The schemes also follow a network building principle where every person that signs up into the network has to pay money. The only intention here is to get as many people into the network as possible. The bad thing about it is that there is no product to sell. This is an empty scheme where people induct other people and go on making money. Though these pyramid schemes are banned in most places of the world, there are some that operate clandestinely. So make doubly sure that the network you're planning to join has something to sell and is not a pyramid scheme. What is the membership fee? Well, it's normal to have to pay something when you're signing up, but you have to check carefully how much you're going to pay. Generally, membership fees in multi-level marketing ventures never go beyond $200, and even then, you're getting a complete kit with the product included. The kit will contain a manual about the product range, an instruction guide for you, the product samples, and various other things such as pins, stickers, and banners that you can use for the promotion. The more the amount of stationery you get, the more genuine the scheme is likely to be. Is their plan convincing? Well, you have to keep your discretion about you at all times. Don't sign up on the first instance. When an opportunity looks good, first, do research on it. Go to Internet forums. See what people are saying about it. Meet a representative. Speak to them. Ask questions. Seek answers. Only when you are properly convinced that their plan is workable must you sign up. Do some background checks. Find out how long the company has been working and, if possible, find out how many people there are in the network. But that's not to say that newbie companies are all bad. If their policy is very clear and transparent and you are convinced, you can surely go ahead with them.